This movie feels much bigger than the last one. Did the increase in scope make it a more difficult shoot? Uh, you know, I had a lot more fun making this movie. Um, I think part of it, the challenge of it was to, to give it some spectacle and give it some scope. Uh, but that was, that was kind of more, that was, it really was more fun in that way. I mean, uh, making a movie that shoots for 100 days with all these costumes and the effects and, and you know, just the, the logistics of it is, is always a challenge. But there was something that I think, there was a spirit, a, a esprit de corps between Andrew and Emma and me and Jamie that I thought was really fun to play around in. Are you, did you take away any lessons from this movie that are gonna help you next time out? Did take any lessons? Uh, Something to make the next mean, time even more fun. In terms fun. of the, the filmmaking? Yeah. You know what's, I, I think, there's always little craft things that I think uh, uh, people find, um, maybe people aren't aware of, but I think make an impact on the audience. Uh, like, you know, when you're doing action sequences, uh, in the first movie, I I think I cut a lot. I mean, did a lot of cuts and for the IMAX experience, 3D experience. I think that, you know, that was, it, it gave it a, a bit more of a staccato feel. And this one, I really tried to extend um, the the you know the longer takes in in the power plant sequence um, and in the and even some in Times Square uh, and I think that makes a difference I think it makes a difference with uh, uh, how people feel and absorb the action. Peter's backstory, his family's story, is a big part of this movie. It was part of the last movie, and we learn more, but there's still a lot of secrets. Do you at this moment know all the answers? Did you during the first movie? Uh, sure, all the secrets. What, what other secrets are you wondering about? I, I'm you. wondering about everything, the special projects, the whole thing, everything, oh, that, sure, everything yeah. that he was a well, part there of. there's a backstory that we developed from the beginning of the, of the first movie about Norman Osborn, about Oscorp, about the, the, the relationship between Richard and Norman and how that was going to evolve. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's nuance that, that's added that's based on, um, you know, the themes that kind of emerge as you're writing a story and things that come up when you're... Um, when you're filming the movie that you enhance or you you turn you turn down but there's always a level of nuance but there is a foundation that we built that we've you know stuck with well you expanded the foundation hugely here i think and obviously there are going to be spin-off movies and more things going on in the future do you at this point know sort of like where the next spider-man heads and like where well, I, have, I know where spider-man is as a character right now and how that evolves um you know the general, the broad strokes of, of that character certainly, and what his challenges will be, in the abstract sense. But as we develop, uh, uh, you know, the Sinister Six and what, what Drew and, and Alex are doing on on, on Venom, and Sinister Six, uh, how the, uh, it'll hopefully be an integrated universe, and and that will evolve as time goes on. I'm sure. Do you know what that universe is? Do I know what the universe is? I mean, I have some idea, but we're still listen. We're still building it out, certainly. You know, and and but as I said before. The bones are in place. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.